What's going on you guys? Cody Steck, your Utah Realtor, back with another video here today. Taking a look at the Peterson Homes model right here. Sorry about the tractor noise in the background. They're doing some landscaping next door. We're gonna be taking a look at this house. This is actually 3,800 square feet, fully finished, which will be a nice touch for a lot of people who are watchers of the channel here. We see a lot of unfinished basements, but this one is fully finished. So we do have the three car garage. This house features four bedrooms and actually five bedrooms, or excuse me, five bathrooms in its fully finished state. So, four bed, five bath, 3,800 square feet, fully finished, priced at 800,000. Now, if you're thinking about making a move here to Salt Lake City and you're interested in this home, you can of course reach out to the builder directly or you can reach out to me. My information will be on the screen here. I absolutely love helping people relocate here to Salt Lake City. Whether you're looking in Salt Lake, West Jordan, South Jordan, Provo, Lehigh, Saratoga Springs, Park City, or any of the other areas, I would love to help you in your move. And whether you're looking at new construction or existing homes, I can help you. So enough about that. Let's take a look at this gorgeous house here. Coming right in the front door, you do have this office space. Off to the right hand side, you do have nine foot ceilings here on the main floor. French doors with black hardware. And one of my favorite things so far about this house that we don't see very often is this floor. They do this LVP in the, in the herringbone style and I think it just looks awesome. It gives it a really nice upscale feel to the actual home. Right here on the left-hand side, you've got a coat closet. Pretty standard to have that inside the front door. I wish more people would put that um, actually by the garage because it doesn't make a whole lot of sense you know, I don't know about you guys, but I don't use my front door a whole lot. I'd rather hang my doors when I come in from the garage. So you've got a half bathroom right here, quartz countertop with a great vanity there. And you do also have the laundry room right here. A little bit of an odd touch in my opinion. You guys know me. If you watch this channel, I just give it to you straight, I give you my honest opinion. It's a little bit weird to have it off, uh, you know, in this corner of the house especially considering where the bedrooms are at. I think they could have laid it out a little bit differently and put it in a little bit more convenient spot. Still a good sized laundry room, but uh, you know, just something that I would have liked to have seen done differently. In here in the garage, you've got, I don't know, 12 or 13 foot ceilings, three car garage. You do have a door that goes out to the backyard right here for easy access to the backyard, which is great. If you have like a lawnmower, you got equipment or you know, you're gardening or whatever, it's nice to have this access door off the back here. So, as we head back into the house, you're gonna see that we also have a closet right here. Linen closet there. Again, I would like to see that as a coat closet, but not a huge deal at the end of the day. Coming back here into the main part of the house, you just have this enormous living space. This is awesome because let's be honest guys, you spend probably 80 or 90% of your time at home, here in the kitchen, in the living room, you know, playing with the kids, watching TV, entertaining people, whatever it might be. So this is the most important space in the house. Love these cabinets. You've got the cabinets go all the way up with the glass on the top shelf so that you can display stuff. Gas burner here pantry here in the corner. We'll take a look in there in just a second. And you do have about a 10 foot or 12 foot island right here. Plenty of space for four, maybe five chairs if you really squeeze them in there. Really like that they did the subway tile backsplash with the black um, surround right there. Adds a nice little touch. Let's take a quick look at this pantry right here. Good size pantry there. And again, just this massive living room, tons of windows and tons of space. You've got dining space here, and then you'd have your living room there, TV up on the wall. It's nice that they put a ceiling fan in here. They've done a lot of really nice touches and they've actually uh, spent a lot of money on upgrades, I can tell just from walking around here in this house. So I think compared to some of the other houses we've seen on the channel, this one you're actually getting quite a bit more bang for your buck as far as some of the upgrades. You get some really cool fans, cool floors, nice carpet, nice pad, 
and a lot of nice features like that. So this is the master bedroom here. Three south facing windows for lots of natural light here in the bedroom. And as we step into the master bath, they're gonna have the split vanity. So again, this is one of my favorite features about this house. Awesome vanity light, quartz countertop, great cabinets here. You do have the shower right here to the right hand side. Let's go ahead and open this up. Oops. Take a look in here. Extra tall ceilings and really large shower. It's probably five feet by four feet. So you do have the soaker tub over here in the corner. Nice six foot tub for those of us who are extra tall. And then you do have that split vanity like I talked about, which is really nice. Cause I don't know about you guys, but sometimes even if you got double sinks, sometimes your stuff is still, uh, you know, overlapping with your spouse like it is at my house. Coming in here to the closet, tons of space, shelves, racks, long hang, short hang, tons of space here in the master closet. So as we escape back out to the rest of the house, <clears throat> excuse me, one thing that you're gonna notice, this house is a little bit different than what we normally see in Utah. This is gonna have a fully finished basement with a lot of living space down there, but then we're gonna have this upstairs that's gonna be amazing for, you know, that teenager that you have, or even possibly a guest who is staying with you. So you do have just one bedroom up here. This would be a great guest bedroom because you do have its own bathroom right here, just as nice as the other ones. With a full walk-in shower. Look at the size of this thing. So this would make for a great guest bathroom. And you do have the closet right here. So you do just have the one bedroom upstairs. Whereas normally we see, you know, three, maybe four bedrooms upstairs. So that's a little bit different here with this one. Okay guys, so as we head back downstairs, swing around this way. Just take one more look at this living space here. This is one of my favorite places here in this house. So overall, my thoughts, great house, great neighborhood, good views, pretty private. There's a little bit of commercial space next door and then a neighbor. So it's gonna be pretty quiet here in this particular house. Coming down the stairs, you do have this massive secondary living room, plenty of space for a couch, a media room, pool table, hangout room for the kids, playroom, whatever you want it to be. I mean, this space right here over to that wall is like, 35 feet probably 30 35 feet so a lot of room right there underneath the stairs you've got some storage again fully finished so when it comes to what you get for your money this house definitely has it because you get a fully finished space so if the layout works for you and you like what you see here this is going to be a great home for you so if you're making that move here as i mentioned get in touch with me you do have this bedroom down here in the basement here and also guys don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so i release tons of videos about what it's like to live here in salt lake city and if you don't want to miss a thing about those videos make sure to subscribe so you get notified when i release those videos i love the black hardware in here it looks really nice bathroom is the same consistency with the materials sometimes you know builders at cheaper price points will you know kind of cheap out on some of the secondary bathrooms and it's really just unfortunate in here you do have a sewer clean out right there and this is going to be mostly just storage not much going on here water shut off and cold storage tons of room here under the front patio so as we escape back into this part of the house we do have mechanical right here we'll just take a quick peek in here Pretty standard mechanical room, nothing too exciting. <clears throat> Backing out. Here on the left-hand side, another storage closet. And coming down the hallway, you're gonna have two additional bedrooms. So this house is actually listed as four bedrooms, but it's actually five, right? We've got the master on the main, the one upstairs, and three down here. So big walk-in closet here. And you're gonna have a Jack and Jill bathroom 
right here, which is a nice touch. This is really nice if you got, you know, two kids or, uh, you know, guests down here sharing this room. You're gonna have two, two sinks right there. And you've got the tub shower combo with the toilet here in the corner. So you've got that separation there. These Jack and Jill bathrooms are really nice. And we'll just sneak through here into this bedroom. These bedrooms are pretty good size, probably about 12 by 12. So lots of room for a bed and dresser and everything else you would need. And the closet there. So all in all, you've got three bedrooms and two bathrooms downstairs. Master on the main. And kind of a secondary master suite up on the top floor. So that's it guys. Like I said, 3,800 square feet built here by Peterson Homes. If you're moving here, interested in this home particularly, you can reach out to the builder directly or feel free to reach out to me. I help tons of people relocate from all across the world here to Utah. And I'd absolutely, <laughs> excuse me, absolutely love to hear from you guys as well. Call, text, or email anytime. Let's talk about the type of home and lifestyle that you're looking to have when you make that move here to Salt Lake City. I would love to help you with that home search and making Utah your new home. Just taking one last look at this awesome living space here. So guys, that just about wraps up this video. Don't forget to subscribe, reach out to me. Let me know if you have any questions about this builder or any other builders. I have contacts all across the valley for any type of home that you would want to build. So get in touch. And with that said, guys, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.